Brevard Workforce works with businesses to identify and solve the issues they face. The business to jobs model introduced in Rockledge and Titusville in PY 2010-2011 was expanded to the Palm Bay Career Center. The business to jobs best practice model brings together industry specific experts to better serve both businesses and job seekers within four distinct communities, helping match Brevard businesses to job seekers. So but I'm a small business owner here in town. We moved out from Los Angeles about six years ago to start up a, a healthcare practice out here in town. So I was fortunate enough to fall into the hands of the Brevard Workforce through Lori Goodwin. And she uh, enlightened me to the program, uh, came through and was chatting with employers and kind of explained to me what, they, what the program offers to employers. And it's hard to maintain good employees. It's hard to keep a motivated workforce. It's really hard to find qualified people that that are available out in the marketplace. So it was really refreshing to have a nice qualified pool of applicants that are eager to get to work to come and interview with you for, for various types of positions that are available. So for us, it gives us the ability to spend three, six months, whatever it might be, working with that person hands-on and really qualifying them for their position, training them specifically for the role that we're looking for. And I always tell them that they can, we can teach systems. So I can teach you how to use a system I can teach you how to use a computer. The one thing I can't teach you is good customer service, um, ambition, work ethic, and a lot of the things that the that the Brevard workforce really helps train people in or retrain them in or, or kind of refocus them in. Um, I've got somebody who's in a management training program that I hired through the Brevard workforce right now because she possesses a lot of the qualities I look for in a manager that I didn't have internally that I wouldn't want to bring somebody from the outside world that has those qualifications because they probably came from another practice and I don't want somebody from another practice coming into my practice. Yeah, we have two employees right now that we've employed through the, through the program. We have a third one that's going through the qualification process right now. And the program you're talking about is the on-the-job training. The on-the-job training. training, I'm sorry, yeah, the on-the-job training <coughs> program. So, and it's a fantastic program, and, uh, and I highly recommend it to everybody I talk to. It's kind of the best kept secret in Brevard County. I don't like to tell a lot of people about it because I, <laughs> I don't want the program to be overutilized and all the good people to get snatched up. But, uh, but I do tell everybody that's out of work or transitioning in work to, 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 to get involved with the program, to contact Lori, whoever the appropriate representative is, and get qualified or to at least get in the system because I think it's a phenomenal system. Um, and it helps to really make uh, potential employees more marketable because employers like myself are out there looking for employees that are part of a program like this. So it's really helped us grow and it's helped us maintain our, our marketplace. Over the past year, the aerospace community was encouraged to jumpstart their transition into a new career through the help of Brevard Workforce. With the business to jobs model, targeted outreach and partnerships with NASA and other aerospace contractors, special efforts were developed for transitioning aerospace workers including Aerospace Easy Connect, NEG Hotline, and dedicated emails. Find your way to get a great new career. If you're a transitioning aerospace worker, act now while the National Emergency Grant is in effect. Don't let this option pass you by. Call the Grant Hotline at Brevard Workforce, 394-0637. Did you know more than 29,000 services were provided by staff to aerospace workers last year? The more than 5,000 visits by aerospace workers represent a 56% increase over the previous year. The number of workshop visits by aerospace workers more than doubled over the previous year. As of January 2013, more than 8,200 aerospace workers received our assistance. Of that, more than 2,400 received services funded by the National Emergency Grant, NEG, where they received grant-related training and supportive services, including skills training, scholarships, certifications, and licensures. Brevard Workforce has focused over the last two years using sector strategy principles to move clean energy jobs forward by assisting business and job seekers to match industry needs with local talent. Our Clean Energy Jobs Accelerator grant partners are Space Florida and TRDA in coordination with Space Coast Energy Consortium. Brevard Workforce creates programs and locates grant opportunities to support winning partnerships with businesses. Incumbent worker training grants provide customized training for existing for-profit businesses. With this customer-driven program, Florida is able to effectively retain and keep businesses competitive through training that upgrades the skills of existing full-time employees. 
Did you know in VY 2011 12, 27 Brevard businesses shared more than $475,000 in incumbent worker training grant awards, potentially impacting 771 jobs? Brevard Workforce is fifth highest in the state for receipt of incumbent worker training fund dollars. Quick Response Training Grants, administered by Workforce Florida, provide funding for customized training to a new or expanding business. From 2002 to 2012, Brevard businesses have been awarded approximately $3.8 million in QRT grants and expended almost $2 million in QRT funds to provide training for nearly 2,200 employees. Innovative ideas by our businesses are supported. Brevard Workforce worked to secure a $10,000 grant for Lockheed Martin to support military youth and dependents for career foundations training. Brevard Workforce's Community Resources Program, launched in February 2011, recognizes the community-wide need for workforce assistance and coordinates weekly community-based information and learning sessions, community networking and other activities that team job seekers with various subject matter experts. Did you know there were 147 community-based learning sessions offered last year with almost 1,600 in total attendance? Nurturing partnerships with businesses and nonprofit organizations helps Brevard Workforce offer innovative and valuable resources. We had a 24% increase in the number of businesses served over the previous year. The job openings posted last year showed a 20% increase over the previous year. The job seeker placement rate was well over the goal of 80%. And at 9,676, the customers placed in jobs represented a 50% increase in reported employment over the previous year. Brevard Workforce partner with businesses and industry and educational representatives to determine occupations of demand in Brevard. Then in October of 2012, Brevard Workforce further determined which were the most crucial to our employers and what occupations demanded the highest wages. Without this data, the Department of Economic Development would not be able to produce an accurate targeted occupations list necessary for the state and regional workforce boards to direct workforce funding where it is most needed. Brevard Workforce created three custom categories of occupations. This customization is used to determine how training funds are allocated and help staffing specialists assist job seekers to select their most effective training plan to fill the needs of Brevard businesses. These are some of the actions by Brevard Workforce to help business identify and solve the issues they face.